Oh shit, are we rolling? Uh, hello there, my name is Chunk, name you call me Chunked, and have you guys ever just had that moment in your life where you're sitting in god knows what room of your house, or just randomly out in public, and suddenly, you feel a cramp in your stomach, or just a bit of pain in that area, and you just know that for the next few minutes, you're gonna be in constant agony and pain while you try and fight for your life. Oh yeah, I kinda lied about making that one video back in that birthday update, uh, trust me, you'll learn why later. Like all of you, <clears throat> like all of you, I absolutely despise having to deal with stomach pains because apparently, I'm lactose intolerant. I actually found out that 90% of Asians and 60% of the world is lactose intolerant, so to all 40 of you that don't have to deal with stomach pains when eating dairy, I hope you stub your toe against the table. It really sucks when I'm going about my day, minding my own business, and then suddenly, my gut just tells me, <laughs> This kind of stuff happens even when I haven't eaten anything too. It fucking sucks. What's worse is when it happens in public because public toilets, they're filthy as shit and I don't want my clean ass touching a toilet that has a 10% chance of having some disease. I mean, you could just sit on a public toilet one day and then the next day, uh oh, you restarted the bubonic plague. This is why I do all my business at home instead of contributing to the fucking waste that plagues a shopping center, changing room, or fast food restaurant. Then again, people can just randomly sh** themselves in the middle of public and nobody would know, but you get the picture. Kinda reminds me about how people thought our prime minister sh** himself in a McDonald's. <coughs> Mo moving on, moving on. Another thing that I found out is, if you drink milk, then you drink water straight after, your stomach will implode on itself and you'll be writhing in pain for about half an hour. I would know because I've had so many times where I drank milk and had to take medicine straight after. Then I would stay up trying to empty my stomach before I go to sleep, but reiterating what I said before though, stomach pains from being intolerant from stuff is really annoying. Most people are just part of the majority where they shit themselves uncontrollably if they have milk, cheese, or whatever else comes from cow tics, but then there's also the people who are intolerant to gluten, which is definitely worse than just shitting yourself because you have to deal with actual pain instead of your stomach growling and chocolate rain. It's pretty much like lactose intolerance in that like it takes a second for your body to realize that it has it in it and then once it realizes it's like oh f you why would you do that well first of all you can't eat the same amount of like t different food now that you have gluten intolerance. So no more pizza, no more sandwiches, no more bread at all because gluten-free bread sucks. Um, and the pain of it is longer. Like I, I ate like 10 sugar wafers once and I was sick for like the entire day afterward. It was awesome. I mean, it's, I feel like it's not as bad as lactose intolerance because you get over it kind of quickly because there's so many alternatives to it. Like there's cauliflower pizza, like cauliflower crust pizza. That's the main thing that's gotten me through it. <laughs> it's just the pizza. But there's, there's generally like a lot of alternatives like pasta. Since you can't have pasta anymore, it's like rice. Like any rice, rice-based pasta. That's what you get to deal with. It, the main thing is the gluten. That That's the whole point of it, is it's that it's chewy and that it tastes like flour <laughs> and eggs. I see. Well, thank God you're not lactose intolerant. Well, no, I'm both. No, I'm both. Wait, you're both? I'm both. <laughs> I have both gluten intolerance and lactose intolerance. I'm not celiac, though, thankfully, so I don't like die if I have gluten, I just get really sick. Again, there's so many alternatives nowadays that, I mean, it's pretty bearable than if it were in like the 80s or the 70s or even even like further back than that. Like there's no alternatives, you eat applesauce all day. <laughs> nowadays, I take these pills where you chew them for a second and then you're able to eat dairy for like two hours. And then they wear off and then you just repeat it again. Helps a shit ton, but I think it's only being sold in Australia because pretty much all of my friends from around the world haven't heard of it. Must luck for them having to deal with their stomachs dying. <laughs> but then there's the times where I forget to take them and have to deal with the pain when I wake up or just underestimate how much dairy I drink or eat. You know, actually, waking up with a stomachache is probably worse than dealing with it while you're awake because the difference between being awake and taking a shit 
versus waking up to go and take a sh is pretty bad because if you're someone who is very lazy to get out of bed, you're gonna take a while to get out, but not long enough till the point where you shit your bed. At least I hope. Trust me, I've never shit my bed in the past 5 years. God, at least I hope. Now, pretending that I did a weird transition, I remember that for a week straight, I had stomach pains for no reason. I don't think that it was something I ate, but if it was, it f***ing destroyed me. My day would go so well, then I'd have to go and take a sh** because sirens were going off in my head saying, Go take a sh** immediately. God, shut the f*** up. And right when I thought it was over, it got worse on the final day. <laughs> so I woke up with a stomach ache like usual, but on that specific day, my sister was graduating from uni and we were gonna go out for lunch on that day too. So during that entire ceremony, I was in constant agony. <laughs> My other sister brought me a bottle of water before it happened though, so I was good at the time. Bottle of water? Bottle of water? F*** you, you get what I'm trying to say though. After the ceremony, lunch was not better. <laughs> I had to eat, but my stomach couldn't handle itself. I managed to survive that, but once I got out of the restaurant, uh, that's when the worst happened. I was literally at the point where I was losing my grip and was about to sh** myself in the middle of public. So I ran. I, I f***ing ran to the nearest toilets available. Mind you, there were no toilets in the restaurant, so I had to run into the central market that was nearby and find a toilet in there instead. But once I did, I sat down, but not before putting some toilet paper on the seat to keep my ass clean. I have standards, you know. And once I sat down, the dam finally broke. I was so f***ing glad that I made it to a toilet in time though, because this story would be more poopy if I didn't make it in time. And that leads me to today, where I've had zero stomach problems to this day except for a couple minor stomach aches. Thanks for watching, roll the outro! Is what I would say, but recently I just survived from gastro and holy f this shit was one of the most painful things I have experienced in recent memory. This is one of the most recent things that has happened to me and why the video I planned for last month didn't come out. I was planning to record for it, but then I had to deal with hell for a week. So our story begins on June 11th. I had just finished eating dinner and I don't know what happened during dinner because all the food looked fine, I, I drank Mountain Dew. That was perfectly fine. But half an hour later after finishing dinner, I suddenly felt a pain in my stomach. I just thought that I needed to sh**, so I sat down for a bit and tried to empty my stomach. But no matter how hard I tried, nothing came out and I later found out that this was because I was also constipated. But you know, I didn't know that at the time, so I kinda just shrugged it off and just went to sleep. So day one, waking up sucked. I still felt the pain from last night and I couldn't sh**, so I just kinda sat on my bed for the entire day hoping that I could sh** and be free from the pain I had. Sounds like something an edgy teen would add onto the MSN or AOL Instant Messenger profile. Minus the sh** bit. My sister and my mom thought I was just constipated with no gastro, so they tried helping. I ate some stuff, drank warm lemonade, drank a bunch of water, and I just thought nothing was happening. But then something did happen. I vomited. <laughs> My mom ended up driving me to the emergency ward at the hospital and I remembered that they were trying to figure out what was going on and they asked me, Okay, I'm gonna press on your stomach, tell me where it hurts. And immediately after they touched it, I vomited again. Though this time it was in one of those hospital vomit bags. You know, the ones that kind of look like this. After they did a blood test and gave me some medicine to stop me from vomiting as well as Nurofen and Panadol, as liquids by the way, they tasted pretty good. I was discharged from the hospital and I just kinda had to sit back and let myself experience the ride of a lifetime. A ride that crashes into a wall and kills you. Day 2 and 4 were pretty much just spent with me in front of a heater with a blanket covered over it to stop the pain. I mean it was pretty effective, but I still kinda wanted to sh** though. So on day 5, I decided to buy some laxatives and I, I mean I, I guess it did it. I pooped, but I was still constipated so I, I don't know if that was a win. And now day 6, aka today, aka the day that Anne, my script guy, editing guy, and literally the real life embodiment of me, yes I'm a character based off of him, is writing the script, is basically the end of my gastro. My stomach definitely feels better and I finally get to live my life again. Yeah, I don't really have a good way to end this video, but I'll leave you with one message. Don't eat sketchy food unless it's really worth it. Anyways, that's all for today, and I'll see you all sometime soon. Later.